Hey guys, World Leader here. Today we are going to be progressing through Kambora. Right now we have a lot of new loot. We have a bunch of maxed out tier 7 epics. We also have a new familiar that we added to the group. I will go ahead and show you their schematic. That way you can see exactly what you need. It's going to be this fella right here, the Hilarious. And he takes three of each from the location of Mocker's Catacomb. As you can see here, you will see his schematic right there. And I'll show you on the map just in case it'll clear it up for you. It's pretty much the very last dungeon that you completed in the last area. Mocker's Catacomb. There you go. So we are going to be adding him to our raid group. Right now we have to clear Dungeon of All Enemies, Pokey, or Pokes Isle, which means Pokes probably going to be our familiar that we're going against, more than likely. So Hilarious, he's going to be a Deflect Chance. Uh, I have everything that I had on um, Shrimps on him. I also got a new Brain, which gets me more heals when I'm lower. And Borland here is pretty much the same. So we're going to go ahead and try out this layout. Hopefully we can do this. Let's go ahead and check this out. Now we're coming across our first familiar here. Poke. He has closest enemy. I really like that. That's funny. He has closest enemy, shield self, and target. And he is pretty fast. He has a lot of health, so he's losing some stats in his health, but he does seem to be like some kind of sustainy, tanky kind of familiar since he has high health and a shield self. So it seems like he might be trying to shield himself more than anything since he'll probably be in the front, but he does have a very fast speed and a target enemy attack. You will want to be taking him out. As of right now, he seems like priority number one, but he is the only familiar here, so I can't really jump the gun. Let's go ahead and see if we can out of this. All right, everything seems pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and go through this dungeon and I'll see you at the loot recap screen. So we got some XP's and a bunch of commons, unfortunately. We have a poke, which is cool. Let's go to town. Alright. So far so good. Let's check out the second flag. Vicky's Isle. Clear the dungeon of all enemies. It's going to be giving us some critter jelly, which is nice. It seems like Vicky's going to be the only enemy here, but we'll check it out. We're going to keep it the same. Everything seemed pretty good. He has a target and closest for the last guy. Uh, so technically Borland would have been safest in the back last time, but I think we were good enough. We have a pretty high stamp tank up front. Let's check this out real quick. Okay, here is Vicky. Vicky is closest and weakest. So there might be a chance, there might be a problem here. We might actually have to take Borland out if he is too weak for this. So let's go ahead and see if we can auto on through. We're gonna put him in back because he's technically the safest in the back. So far for both familiars, yeah, see, he got nuked. So we might have to run a second tank. Doesn't look like we'll be able to auto this. So I am going to resurrect Borland going to see if we can manual this. Now that I have less health in Borland, I should be the one taking the hits. So let's go ahead and try to take them all out. As long as Borland stays healed, that's all that matters. We cannot lose them. So we need to save as much SP as we can. It's unfortunate that we have to manual this, but oh well. I'm pretty sure we can get through it with the first try, even though we lost Borland. If not, we can try it again, and I'm pretty sure we'll get it that time for sure. If you're having problems here, like let's say you don't have Hilarious yet, which I really recommend you farm him up before you do anything in this area, um, you can just try Double Shrimps. It should help you out. Okay. Just keep those heals up. Can't lose him. See, he would have died there. <laughs> Lucky us, that was close. So let's try not to use heals unless Borland has lost health. If everyone else has lost health except Borland, it's not really worth what it seems. So we have enough for our emergency heal, which is going to be our mount skill. When attack team, the closest, closest, nice. Team, closest, 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 nice. And we saved some SP. Borland didn't take too hard of a hit, which is good. Okay. 
Yeah, the artist looks really cool, honestly. Okay, here's another set of Vickies. Alright, so we're going to do the front. Try to take them out from the front as quickly as possible. It seems to be the best bet. Nice. So this area seems like you have to manual it only because of the attack weakest, but if you manual it, it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, take out the front, attack all, front, front, front. We're gonna have to heal, nice. Front, front. Looks like our brain is helping us out a lot, actually. What are Hilarious' skills again? I forgot to go over that. Closest enemy. Closest enemy and damage yourself, which means it's going to hit pretty hard, as you can see. For 1 SP, that's not bad. And drain health from closest. So he's strictly closest, but he hits hard in the front. That's pretty good. Save some SP. Okay. I'm going to go to town. All right. We are on the third flag. Kremlich's Force Isle. Clear the dungeon of all enemies. So it seems like it's just going to be another all enemies. Let's put Borland in the back. Seems like Borland's safest in the back from all of these, so we'll check it out. This looks like a big sandwich. And it looks like a bunch of food. Nice, okay. So closest enemy. Random, which means he's not safe from anyone. And spread heal teammates. Spread heal is going to be annoying, but oh well. Um, the random enemies, uh, random enemies going to be the problem. We're going to leave Borland in the back because he is still technically the safest there. Let's go ahead and see if we can auto on through this real quick. Oh my. Does not look like it. That random enemy is too much of a chance. Ooh, Scorch Schematic. This is another good tank that you can go for. Uh, if you don't want to go for Eulerius, you can always go for Scort. I highly um, recommend against Scort because he is a little harder to make in my opinion. But he is another option and he's a pretty good option as well. Okay, I don't want to auto this because it is a little sketchy. That random hit hits really hard. So I'm going to manual to do this whole thing. All right. Just keep taking out the front. Take them out in order. It's the best way to do it. Save SP. All right. Let's go through it. So the first few flags are pretty easy, but it seems like you have to manual them, which is unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. There are going to be some flags where you just have to manual, but it's okay. Everything seems fine. Let's get some heals up. All right. So far, so good. We should be near the end. Nice. Healing shrine. Okay. Take them out in the front as fast as possible. Oh, he evaded. Nice. I'm going to drain and heal. There you go. Okay. Alright, this should be the last group of enemies. Attack closest. All. Wow, that was a really nice empowered crit there. Closest. Closest. So these guys are pretty weak. Let's see if there's any more loot. Okay, nothing good. But that Scorch Schematic is pretty nice. Okay. Now we are at the first, oh, I forgot. This is one of those few areas that has four flags. Four flags in this area. Desolate Isle, clear the dungeon of all enemies. So I'm guessing it's gonna be a combination of all of them. We're gonna leave Borland in the back because they do have a weakest target and random. Everything else is closest, so unless there's a furthest, he will always be safest in the back. Okay, we're gonna have to manual through all of this for sure. One, 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 one. Attack all. Closest, 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 closest. You're pretty much gonna always do closest because you want to get the weakest enemy out first. So unless Vicky's in the back, you're going to do closest to get to her. You have to get to her first. If he has less health and it's easier for you to nuke the back, then go for it. But right now, I still think she is a priority. Let's take them out. 
Vicky is going to be the most threatening familiar here. Target is also dangerous. Random hits really hard, but it's, again, random. So we are going to take out this guy because he is a harder hitter. We should, okay, we didn't one hit him, but we can get him here. There you go. And then we can just spam one to save SP. I'm gonna heal him up actually. Gotta heal up my tank and then we'll save SP. Nice. Things looking good so far. We're getting a lot of SP saved. We have a little over two for each, which is great. Okay. All right, so Vicky is the number one target here, but these guys do hit pretty hard, so I will be targeting the back end if possible. I will target Vicky in particular there. I will drain to keep sustained. Use my one, attack all, attack the back, drain for the sustain, attack one, attack all, and then you can just use your one. So far this area is pretty easy. No real problems here other than Vicky. But even then she is still not a problem. Just nuke her in the back like so and then just spam your one. Heal up every now and then when you have to. Okay, we should be going for a heal, there you go. He's not letting us save too much for Borland, but that's fine. Awesome. We have a great amount of SP on all familiars right now across the board. A little over three for each, I believe. Yes. Okay. Just poke. Ah, two Vickies. So pretty much just attack the back line if possible. I'm going to take him out. Oh, I didn't take him out. It's fine. I can take him out here. There. Some sustain, some heals. Target the back. Sustain. I got the back. Okay. Let's just spam your one. We should have enough health on Borland right now until he gets another turn, which is fine. I really want to get some epics right now. Actually, I think I already have max out epics. I do. Okay. So, again, we are going to be targeting the back. I'm going to do a attack all so I can poke at the Vickies. Use my basic, my basic, attack all, heal, basic, basic, attack all, heal, my one, one, heal, take them out, heal, take them both out. Nice. Let's go ahead and continue. This is 2 7, right? Yes, so we already have all the epics we need for this area. I don't know why I'm looking for epics. <laughs> there you go. So we're pretty much as maxed out as we can be when it comes to epics. So hopefully this is all we need to progress through Cambora. We want to get to tier eight today. So Scorpius. Scorpius is pretty cool. He's uh, a familiar needed to make Squirt, which is pretty cool. He's a great uh, damage reduction tank. So. This guy might have some damage reduction. We'll go ahead and find out. This is going to be a easy one though, since we are using our carries. I'm just gonna go ahead and accept and we're gonna go on through this. Eat you, I will. Yum, you will be. dead i never get to stop them to show you their move list so i'm going to go to town i'm going to show you score its move list we unlock the first flag of the next area which is great let's go to go ahead and put the familiars let's go to where are you at boy Scort, squirt squirt see these are all different we're squirt I feel like that's Scort. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, Scort is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for Scorpius. Scorpius. There you go. So closest, closest drain, shield self, and furthest. 
he has extremely low speed, so you really wouldn't have to worry about him if you have Borland in the back, but you do have to understand that he does have a furthest enemy. So you might want to take him out as soon as you can, depending on what your team layout is when you're fighting against him. Uh, you don't want to have Borland in the back. You might want to have him in the middle. Okay. The Goose Thicket. Here's where a lot of players quit. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is a really hard flag, and it might take us a while to get past it. We'll find out right now. You have to manual this. You cannot, I repeat, you cannot uh, out of this at the beginning. I promise you, you can. So we're gonna go ahead and go through this, see if we can do this with all epics. And yeah, I really recommend you get Eularius because I promise you, Orland Tramps either can't do it or they are really going to struggle and you will have to try a lot. I believe this is it. Does it say? Yeah. Mega the Goose. The Mega Goose is pretty bad. So we're going to have Orland in back for now. Actually, let's have him in the middle. We'll see, we'll see what the Goose do. I believe the Goose have an insane high amount of speed. So if I can avoid some of these guys, I will. I'm going to tell you right now, you have to pay attention to this. See, random, right there. And look at all that damage. They have very little health, so they're very squishy. But they do a lot of damage. So if you deflect this back to them, they're going to pretty much kill themselves. So they have a closest and a random. Their random could possibly hit almost 1,300, which is a lot. So he will be close. Uh, save us in the back. Put him in the back for now. You will see how hard he hits. As you can see, look at Eularius. He's already struggling. You're going to want to see what I mean? See right there? You got to watch out. You want to take these guys out as fast as possible. We might have to weapon swap if my weapon is not enough. Okay, we seem to be okay. I'm using a sword currently. I'll show you my skills right now before we progress any further. So I have a closest, closest three, target, and all enemies. Now I also saved up two more types. I'll show you this one right now. Closest, furthest, closest three, and target. I kind of like having the target as my option versus the closest three. Let's see, this is 929. Okay, 600 to 900. Let's check this out real quick. 600 to 900 for the closest three. Let's see what this does. So technically this is a higher minimum but lower maximum. So it technically would have more damage output in the long run. But if we can't do it with this weapon, we can try the spear. I really doubt the axe will work. Let's take a look at the axe real quick, actually. Let me just show you what we have. Okay, closest, drain health. The drain health is nice, but you want to pretty much deal damage. See this right here closest enemies the chop might be what we need let's actually try this axe and see if it works some sustain is always nice okay let's heal up is this the closest this is all enemies this is the closest let's take him out with the closest boom that does some gnarly damage okay heal up the epic brain I have is coming in handy. Let's just take him out right now. Heal and drain. Okay, now we're going to walk through this slowly. So there's one there. Let's go to this coin. There's one there and there's one there. Is there one over here? Here's the Mega Goose. So pretty much if we take this guy out, we are done. I'm going to go ahead and skip those other guys and come straight to this one. Let's see if we can do this. These guys are pretty hard, so gotta watch out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, as you can see, I got one shot already. I'm gonna try a major. Now, let's go ahead and try to do as much damage as possible. We have to hope for the deflex or it's just not gonna work. Let's try healing him up. And we will try this second attack because it does the most damage. Now, we are not trying to sustain here. Oof, that's unfortunate. We are trying to kill him as fast as possible. 
Okay, we did it. We did it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I don't think, yeah, if you can kill the goose at any point without having to clear the dungeon, I recommend doing it. Skip all the small ones. They will destroy you, I promise. I'm going to go straight to town. I will count that as a victory. First try, goose. Let's go. Now, that is probably the hardest um, stopping point in the game for quite a while. So, if you can get through the goose, especially on your first try, take it. So, again, I'm going to show you exactly what I used. Now, you might have to try a little harder if you don't have this brain right here. But I do recommend, let me show you right now. I'm pretty sure they're in shop right now. Let's go to shop. I recommend you save all your gems for these large augment bags. Do not get the small. I'll show you right now. The small only gives you a 0.1% chance for a legendary and a 1% chance for an epic. If you go for the large, which is five times the price, but still not that bad, it's only 510. You have a guaranteed chance at a rare. Not the greatest, but it's better than getting all greens. And you have a 3.4 chance for a legendary and 11.8 chance for an epic. So pretty good chances for an epic. All right. Let me actually go to Eulerius again one more time. So for Eulerius, I used two rare evade pumps and one damage reduction epic pump. I also used my win hit heal team brain and while below 25% health, heals received are 40% more effective as my skeletal lining. For my stabilizing chip, I had gain damage reduction the higher your health percentage is up to a maximum of 9.5. That way the first hit pretty much is reduced significantly in comparison to what it would be without it. Let's go ahead and go to the next flag. I highly recommend you farm Eulerius. I don't think any other familiar can get you through there that easily at least. I don't know many people that got through the goose on their first try like I did, um, but that's only because I'm knowledge to know why um, I failed in the previous attempts and what I needed to do to, to pretty much progress through there more efficiently. So Eulerius is probably your go-to. Again, before you try pushing this tier at all, I really recommend you just farm Eulerius as much as possible. Just make sure you beat the dungeon. That way you could um, you could pretty much start collecting gear from the next area when you're farming your other things like Expedition, Gauntlet, Raid, World Boss, etc. So this, this one right here is going to be clear the dungeon of all enemies. So this should be fairly easy. Let's keep boiling in the middle. go through this we have a goose we already know how the goose are so the goose are random and this guy seems like a tank random as well so there's no real safe place for Borlin other than the back we have to be careful what we're gonna try to do is it seems like this guy has very low strength so we don't have to worry about his random as much we're going to be targeting the back end as much as possible which means I'm gonna have to change my weapon after this fight because my weapon is for closest not for furthest. Let's take this guy out real quick. Ooh, get a heal on. Get another heal. Now we have to be really careful here. Alright, so we are going to switch our weapon immediately. And this is why I always say, especially if you have legendaries, do not use a legendary main hand unless you really, really have to. It's never a good idea. That way you could swap through weapons like I'm doing and have no problem. So we are going to get through this. It says clear dungeon of all enemies. So we're going to have to go through everyone eventually. Okay, so here is strictly back end. You just hit the back no matter what. Like you don't even worry about anything else. Just sustain and hitting the back. Anytime you see a goose, you take him out first. No matter what. Now here we can just build SP like crazy. Their attack random shouldn't do much. And then towards the end we will heal if we have to. We seem fine. We seem more than fine. Everything is really good right now. Okay. Did not mean to do that, but that's fine. We pretty much have max SP across the board. Alright. So here you can just pretty much spam your one, or you can... Use stronger attacks to get rid of them. Just try to save some SP. Okay. 
I usually try to hover around 3 SP every time I'm doing something this easy. That way you can just have some, just in case you have like a whole army of goos at the end. You don't want to be weak or have very little SP because you never know, they might just crit you really bad. So I'm just spam my 1 so I can build SP on my main character. There you go. Pretty much max SP across the board. Here's a goose, never a good thing to see. So since there is a health shrine, we are not gonna worry about heals. We are just gonna take them out, take out goose in the back right away. That way they're not a problem. And I'm just gonna auto through this. All right, let's go to that health shrine real quick. I don't even think we need it. Yeah, we're topped off, we even have shields, so we're gonna avoid it. Now there's two groups of goose. Take out the back end again. Self-sustain, closest, 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 self-sustain, furthest, and then you can auto. Now we still have that health shrine, so we really don't have to worry too much. And I do believe this is the last group of familiars right here. Got the health shrine anyways, just to make sure we're good. Yep, this is the last group of enemies, and we have two goos. Attack the back line, attack the back line, closest, closest, attack the back line, and auto. There you go. So for our loot recap, we just have XP, gold, and some commons. Nothing great, but we're just trying to progress through. We don't really need anything for this tier anymore anyways. Got some component cream, which is awesome. We are now at the seventh flag of the map clear the dungeon of all enemies probably the same thing just introducing a new familiar as well we are going to put Borland in the back because he seems safest there so far all right now this is another hard familiar i remember their name is brimby they do closest furthest and target with an extremely high amount of speed so we are going to put Borland in the middle because he is nowhere near safe in the back i'm not even safe in the back it might be a problem for me as well we're going to have to target the back line. Keep the sustain up. Just keep targeting the back. Keep sustaining as much as you can. I try to save a heal for whenever Borland is low. Try not to use it unless Borland is low. Like right there, if I don't get SP right now, he's probably going to die. Okay, heal him up. Target the back. Good thing is once you take out one of them, their damage is pretty much cut in half. So we are going to spam one. Heal up. Spam one. We need to save some SP as much as possible. Heal. Spam one. Spam one. And spam one. There we go. We have a decent amount of SP and we have a lot of health. We're not topped off, but we're still pretty good. Okay. Target the back. Sustain, heal, target the back. Nice. He got deflected, which is perfect. Spam your one, target the back. Spam your one, spam your one, spam your one, target the back. Nice. Okay. So we're pretty topped off. Let's go ahead and look for the next group. Two Brimbies here. A triple Brimby setup, which is good and bad at the same time, which means we can just target the front, which is good for us, but also bad because there's a lot of them. Try to take out the closest one as fast as possible. We're going to heal up. Attack team. And closest. Okay. Heal up again. Closest. Heal. Drain. Heal. Closest. Nice. What's over here? Some gold. A Winslow. Okay, Winslow. It's random. Okay. Closest. Attack the back. Closest. Attack the back. Attack the back. Closest. 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 Attack the back. Closest. Heal, attack the back, 
heal closest closest attack the back and then you can just spam your one to save sp there you go we're pretty much topped off all right now you really want to remember to save sp you want to build on weaker fams like since that was a winslow i knew i could farm off him pretty easy here now that i have plenty of sp we're just going to nuke the back pretty hard sustain a little bit nuke the back again and then spam our one want to make sure that we have full sp and then we'll go for a heal drain nice another heal another drain and now we can spam one and we should be topped off at the end of this pretty close not bad not bad okay this should be our last familiar if not there will be one more past this fog so this is a four man group of brimbies this is the worst case scenario in the map so what you want to do is take out the closest one as fast as possible because the more there are, the more damage they can output. They all attack at the same time. So we want to make sure we sustain up. As you can see here, I'm kind of struggling, but it's no problem. We're good. Just keep healing. Attack all. There you go. Heal. Closest. And I'll do furthest because it does the most damage. Nice. Sweet. That was the entire area. So that wasn't the hardest flag. The next hardest flag, other than the Goose Thicket, is going to be Brimby Thicket. I think it was Goose Thicket, which it was called. But Brimby Thicket is going to be hard because you have to fight King Brimby. We're going to leave Borlin in the back, I believe. We'll check right now. We'll check. I think Brimby had a furthest, but we'll see. Go ahead and collect the loot. If you don't have to fight a familiar, I don't recommend you do. Okay, so this has Goose and Brimbies. This is very dangerous. Save as much SP as you can. Target the back line. Brimby is the... Or not Brimby. The Goose are the strongest enemies here, so you gotta make sure you take care of them first. Heal up your Borlin. Ooh! You got a crit on me. That's already not looking good. We might not be able to do this first try. Let's try to target the back line. Sustain. Let's see what Brimby has. Does he have furthest? He does have furthest. That's probably why he died. Okay, so that was on my my bad. Let's go ahead and target Brimby in the back. Heal. Ooh, he pretty much took as much as he healed. That was close. Sustain. Closest. Closest. Heal. Closest. Take out the back line. Heal. Drain. Closest. Closest. Back line. Closest. Heal. Closest. Nice. So we have plenty of health, but we have very little SP. Um, let's go to the middle here. Sometimes the fog does not clear up, which is very unfortunate. Let's try this, okay. Skip those goos. Oh, we ran right into a Brimby though. Okay, we're gonna do closest. Target the back, nice. Drain, heal, closest, 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 closest. Three man, nice. Drain, target the back. Closest, closest, closest. Heal, and I do closest for now. Yes, good, good. This is nice. I was able to save some SP, which is always a good thing. A little risky there, but we're good. Okay, this area is pretty empty. We might have to go past that goose. We'll find out right now. We're gonna go this way. That's unfortunate. Familiars we didn't have to fight, but this is going to be a good group to feed off of to get some SP. So let's just spam our one here. This is honestly best case scenario. Spam your one, spam your one, get a heal. Spam your one, 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 a drain, a heal. Spam your one. Main goal is to max out your SP and then max out your health as well. Now we have pretty near max health and max SP. Actually, I think we have max health and max SP, which is perfect. Hilarious lost a little bit, but that's not, not too bad. So it looks like we're gonna have to go past this goose. 
and I'm more than certain King Broomby will be on the other side of these goose. So this is one of the worst case scenarios you can have, is having a very strong team right before. We're gonna do furthest, target the back, drain, furthest. And then we're going to do closest, heal, drain, closest, 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 heal. So we're pretty topped off. We need to take them out as fast as possible. Closest, closest, perfect. We lost a lot of SP, so it is ultimately up to you if you want to go far more SP or if you think you'll be fine with what you have. I have to remember that Borland did die. I'm going to farm some SP off of this familiar over here to see. Let's see, hopefully there's only one bad enemy, and there is. We got lucky. Let's take Brimby out. Drain, attack the back, and take out Brimby, and then we just spam our one. And now we are going to be topped off pretty good. We should be more than okay for this next boss. Again, I did mess up and I did put Borland at the beginning or at the, the back of the line at the beginning of this map. So he did die, unfortunately, which might be the reason we lose, but we'll find out right now. Okay, here's where you want to drain. There you go. Didn't get that much health, but he's still fine. Again, everyone has a potion available except for uh, Borland. Here is King Brimby. Welcome to the apocalypse. Okay. He's already kicking my ass. Love seeing that. <laughs> Let's heal. I died already. Let's do a major. Closest. Let's do a heal. Yeah, this doesn't seem possible right now. We might have to rely on deflex. So unfortunately, we are going to have to try to Eularius. Let's go ahead and swap him out. Now I don't have another Eularius. So give me one minute to come right back to the farm. I'm going to try to get one more Eularius so we can get through this. All right, I went ahead and get the last familiar that we needed for our Eularius. Let's go ahead and craft them up real quick. Familiars, fusion, go down to his schematic. There you go, as you can see, I can make one more. And now I have two max stable. Let's go to quests. Go to where we were at which is probably the last flag of the area enter we're going to take Borland out we're going to try Eularius now we don't have any sustain with this sword so we might actually have to change weapons but then again we can't change weapons we don't do we have a staff I don't think we have a staff that's unfortunate we're gonna try what we have now Seems like a very strong team here. Pretty much no matter what you do, it is going to be a problem here. You're gonna to wanna to do sustain every single time you can. Let's go ahead and switch out our tanks. Here's the problem. We don't have any sustain for our main character. I'm going to have to try using the axe. The axe seems like the only thing we can do here. Let's try to feed off this Winslow real quick. Hopefully there's not too many. Oh, it's Goose. So I'm going to... Oh, that's perfect actually. So it seems like my drain does a significant amount of healing. Gonna be nuking the front end, swapping as we go through. Always draining with Hilarious when able. Let's go ahead and swap Hilarious over. Let's go ahead and nuke the front. Drain. Front, front, front. Swap them over. Drain, drain. Heal up. Attack, attack, attack. Drain, swap them over, drain, and take them out. Nice. So the axe seems to be one of the better options, surprisingly. These are going to be my stats. I have 900 strength, 263 stem, and 282 agility. I feel like this is the correct path. It seems like the longest path so far. Now we have another troublesome group. 
go ahead and damage the front. Drain, we're gonna swap our Eulerius over. Drain, closest, closest, closest. Let's go ahead and swap me to the front real quick. We'll try that out actually. Drain, drain, closest, closest, closest. I will drain, heal them all. I'll drain, heal them all again. Drain, 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 heal. Closest, closest, closest. As of right now, I'm pretty much filling a bait tank roll. So let's try to avoid them. Okay, we seem to have found him. Now we are pretty weak, but I think we can take care of him. The problem is I don't have a good closest drain. So we're gonna try to do this. Yeah, I didn't have time to swap over. Let's try to max revive. We'll put me in the middle as the safest spot. We're going to do as much damage as possible. We're not really going to focus on healing anymore. We're going to do as much damage as possible. I believe... Does he have any potions available to him? He does. So we'll leave him like that. I believe he'll be fine. Closest. He deflected, which is great. Closest. 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 Strongest. Okay, here's where we heal him. He's getting pretty weak. Awesome. Closest. He evaded. It's unfortunate. That's our hardest hitting attack. And now I'm there in the threshold for the strongest attack, which is unfortunate. And yeah, that's unfortunate. But we got him halfway. It seems like it's just trial and error. We'll just go through this dungeon one more time. See if we can do it. I do have one more thing I'm going to try. I have a ring. Legendary that's tiered up. Just a little bit more. It's a little more damage. It's not maxed out, but it could help. We're going to try that out. Worst case scenario, you need one legendary for this area. But by the way it looks, is you just need two Eulerius and some good RNG. And you should be able to pr proceed on through. But let's try it with this, just to get on through for the video. Best case scenario is a full team of Winslow. Just keep spamming your one. We'll put me up front, since I can heal the best. Against these trash fams. Keep spamming my one, spamming my one. We're good. Just keep spamming. Get that max SP going. Okay. I'm gonna drain to get some health for him. Drain to get myself some health. Drain again. Things looking good so far. Drain. There you go. Now you don't want to be in the front when you find King Brimby. Okay, we have two Winslows to feed off of here. We'll go this way, because it seems like the best path for King Brimby. Let's go ahead and take out the back line, which is going to be target enemy. Uh, it's a lot of SP, but it's probably the best option. Target enemy in the back. Closest, closest. Drain, closest, 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 drain, 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 closest, drain, 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 closest, drain. Okay, I'm looking pretty weak. Ooh, I forgot to switch myself to the back. Hopefully that's not a problem. If there's a King Brimby here, there isn't. He should be the next one. Yes, he is. Okay. So we cannot lose me. I have to heal up the fool every time. So we're just going to be nuking the front end. I'm going to swap myself out to the middle. It's the safest spot. Got to drain. Okay. Swap out the Eulerius. Drain. Drain. Closest, closest, closest. Drain. Nice. Okay. So since this guy is here... Let's go feed off of those other Winslow at the beginning. Let's hope that they are full teams of Winslow and nothing else. Let's check this one out. See if there's any loot behind him. Okay, perfect. Full team of Winslow. So we're going to heal up first and then spam our one. This is best case scenario. All right. We are maxed out pretty good. Okay. Just keep spamming your one. 
I don't believe we've used any potions in this dungeon yet, so that's a good thing. We are now capped off. I have a little missing health, but there's nothing wrong with that. Let's see if there's anything behind him that we would have wanted. Nothing. So let's leave. We don't need to farm this other Winslow. He's good to be left alone. Let's see if this is the run. Okay, so here's where you swap out your Eularius and just deal as much damage as possible. Okay, so he is still not safe as in the back. He might actually be safe as in the front. For him, you're gonna be draining. For the back guy, you're gonna be hitting. Okay. How much heals is this? Let's see, it's not that much. I'm gonna do it anyways. Closest, closest, closest. Okay, here he's gonna need his potion already. So we're gonna do the medium. Closest, closest, closest. Okay, this guy in the back's gonna need his potion as well. Closest, closest, closest. Put Eularis up front. Closest, nice. We went ahead and finished that flag. I was beginning to worry that we weren't gonna be able to do that. Let's go ahead and go to town. That is another one of the hardest flags that you're going to come across. This tier is very unrelenting, but it's fine because we pretty much got through it. It's great. Now we just have the last one, which is going to be fine and defeat Vidire. Nothing challenging. Again, you are going to have your carries. I'll see you at the loot recap screen when I'm done destroying everyone in this dungeon. Death awaits you. This guy's pretty cool. Okay, I was able to stop him one time. He does closest enemy, closest two enemies. Oh, that's a cool animation. Heals target teammate and weakest. So if you are going to be fighting him, he has an extreme amount of speed. He is going to be nuking the front end like crazy. And he is going to be nuking uh, the weakest. So you will want to take him out first. Good thing is he is in the front for this, so it shouldn't be a problem. He more than likely will always be in the front. All right, we are at the loot recap screen and we are finally, finally done with this tier. It took us a little longer than the last tier, but we do have good fams to come with us from the last tier that helped us out and they're gonna keep helping us out in the future. New adventures await you in Galarin. Galarin? Galarin, I guess? Which is pretty cool. We finally have a new tier. We are now in tier eight, which is awesome. I love tier eight. Tier 8 has a lot of sets that I liked. Uh, we are going to be skipping those, but they had a lot of sets that I liked back when this tier was the freshest tier. It was one of my favorite tiers. Let me go ahead and show you. World boss. Let's go to summon. Now you can see here that we have a tier 8 nether, and I believe they're still the same two, nether and orlag. Yeah. So we only have nether and orlag. Let's go ahead and check out the drop tables. As you can see here, we have some awesome looking mythics. Unfortunately, mythics are extremely useless right now. They are not useful at all. Um, you can use these to make a your first ancient if you want, but you will be needing a ton of materials. I don't recommend making this ancient either. It is called the Harvester. It is a weapon that is pretty much a rarer, uh, a rarer weapon than a mythic because you have to use mythics to craft it. It's not worth using. It has terrible attacks. You have to up tier it. It takes so much materials. It's not worth getting unless you are a pay to player and you really just want to collect everything. I highly recommend against it. This set right here, the Inferno set, is good, yes, but again, it is outshined by anything in current tier. And if unless you want to spend twice the amount of time each tier up tiering this, I don't recommend you go for it. I recommend you farm it for the um, cosmetics, but what you're really gonna mainly be going for is epics, and you're going to save one or two legendaries, I believe, because it seems like we are going to be needing them from here on out. It doesn't look like we're gonna have only epics helping us out from now on. So our main goal is to avoid legendary set or mythic weapons and get nothing but epics and legendaries. For the schematics, they're pretty much the same schematics. As you can see 
see here or lag i'll summon him real quick just to show you we do have tier eight these are his drops he has his own sets as well or, i mean own uh yeah his own sets and his own mythics as well i don't recommend farming this if you're going to be doing the netherworld strat that i was telling you about so let's go ahead and get out of here so i can show you the expedition real quick right now we have an expedition uh it usually rotates between expedition invasion and guild v guild so i'm gonna go ahead and hit play as you can see here we have a bunch of different areas i'm just gonna click on a random one and go to the loot drop we have a bunch of cosmetics here is a mythic but as you can see here it is updated to tier 8 we also have the same sets as last time and a bunch of the same legendaries from the other areas of the game uh, that have tier 8 content tier 8 sets again you're going to scrap everything that is not a legendary or epic and if you do get legendaries i recommend you can level up only one piece at a time one piece at a time so scrap every other piece and just level up that one piece and then once it's maxed out have maxed out epics avoid using a legendary weapon and you'll be fine you should be able to progress to the next area and if you can't then max out one more legendary so let's go ahead and check out gauntlet let's go to the difficulty of eight just to show you as you see here they have their own mythics as well and their own set with their own legendaries but again like i said you're not going to be collecting those I will be running one raid just to show you. We are at Zol's Labyrinth, one of my favorite raids. Just, it's aesthetically pleasing to me. I really like the way it looks. So let's go ahead and summon. The legends are true and has been foretold. There is a dungeon that is only for the bold. The ancient Zol has reappeared with a labyrinth that has long be, long be feared. Help us, hero, and keep this town cleared. Raise your weapon and explore the labyrinth of the feared. Cool. So, same old, same old. Normal gives you nothing. Hard is 200% and 50% capture rate. And Heroic is 400% and fine and 100% capture rate. Here is the loot drops. They have their own mythics. A lot of people want to use this sword when they see it. Do not use it. Trust me, it is not worth it. The shield is a good cosmetic, but it is not good to use. For all the schematics, nothing here is going to be needed. So don't farm anything other than legendaries and epics. Scrap everything else. Let's go ahead and go heroic. Now it's gonna be the same layout as always. Tank, bait, DPS, DPS, tank, or tank, bait, U, DPS, tank. Let's go ahead and do accept. All right, let's check out the first group of enemies. Okay, so we have our three new enemies here. We have Xanthin, which does closest, furthest, shield self, and random. So he's pretty scary. He does just about everything in the book other than target. So what you're going to want to do is kind of avoid him. Like he is scary, yes, but his speed is significantly low. Just keep a tank in the back for his furthest and you should be fine. Jelvins, closest, closest to random enemy which is scary because he has very high speed and weakest enemy so random and weakest your weakest guy is going to be the second in slot he's going to be your bait i have myself there because right now i'm not really worried with my carries but you're going to want to have a very strong bait as your second area or in uh the fourth area depending on where you want him but you are not going to want anyone squishy in the second spot unless they are tanky now let's check out Svirnik. closest weakest now here's the thing this guy has a thousand speed he is extremely fast so you are going to want to target him right away or he's just going to keep poking at your weakest guy random pretty strong but again he has very small or very low strength and health he is pretty easy to nuke out like you can literally just sneeze on him and he'll die so take him out right away then you target jelvins and then xanthan is your last worry we're going to go ahead and pro uh, proceed through this and we're going to see how the boss looks at the end so let's go ahead and skip through this dungeon i'll see you on a bit
Alright, here's Zol. That's a weird language. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty weird. <laughs> I'm gonna skip that. Okay, so here's Zol. Right now, Xanthan, same old, same old. And Zol's closest closest two enemies also has a furthest okay target enemy and self which is good because a harder self but that usually means more damage and uh, spread heal teammates but it's a 2 SP and her speed isn't the greatest so that's not too bad but yeah that target seems pretty devastating so what you want to do is you're going to want to try to target her out first, but I mean I have carries, I'm just going to go ahead and auto on through. We didn't really get much, just a little bit of gems here and there, some rares and some legendary uh, material. So it's whatever, some XP's, let's go to town. All right, and that's going to be wrapping it up for this episode. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get any epics from that raid, but it's whatever. Um, I just want to thank you all so much for helping out the community, for you veterans commenting in the comment section, and for all you guys following. Don't worry, you guys got this. You guys will be at the end of this tier at no time. Thank you so much for tuning in. This was World Eater. Have a good one, guys. Peace.